crossword fans. Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, September 6th, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across combat sport on pay-per-view in brief. Oh, um, I think they must be talking about mixed martial arts. Yeah, and the in brief means the answer needs to be abbreviated like this. All right, well, I like to build off of answers I already have in the grid, so let's see if we can build off of this going down. One down. Chocolate flavored coffee. That's mocha. Yeah, okay, that looks really good. HBO's Real Time with Bill Blank. That's Bill Marr, right? Yeah, he's been a long time TV host on HBO. Okay, Book of Maps. That's got to be an atlas. Okay, all right, we're doing really good. We've got something filled in already on the crosses. Let's just make sure we got it right. Blank milk, non-dairy choice. Yeah, that's definitely oat milk. I like oat milk a lot. Listened to? Maybe that could just be heard. Rear end to Brits? I guess that's arse. That's a little blue, isn't it? That's funny. Oh, look at this. Okay, this must be a theme answer. It's got a asterisk at the beginning of it, and it's pointing to another answer in the grid. Asian American who became only the second woman to win the Oscar for Best Director. Ooh. I don't know if I know this director. It kind of looks like it starts with Chloe, doesn't it? Let's take a look at these downs here. Dunkable cookies. Yes, that's the old crossword standby, the Oreo. But it has to be Oreos plural in this case because the clue is asking for cookies plural. And your clue and your answer have to agree in terms of pluralization. Okay, well, it is looking like Chloe. Is this going to be an E? Transport down a winter hill. Seems like that should be sled, right? Okay, still don't know her last name. Maybe we can get it with some crossing help. On the up and up. Could that be legit, maybe? Yeah. On the blank of the moment. I think that's on the spur of the moment. All right, let's do these downs now and hopefully we can get this director's last name. Dispenser candy, that's gotta be Pez. That tastes bad. And the quotes around this clue mean they're looking for an equivalent phrase to that tastes bad. I think that could just be ug, a sound of disgust, right? Cowboy's rope. Oh, this is tough. This is a little bit of crosswordies. Um, it's called a riata. That's another name for a lasso. Yeah, you just tend to see that on the crossword because these are pretty common letters and it makes filling in a crossword grid easier for a constructor. Yeah. Um, Okay, Saturday morning TV character. This was just on the puzzle a few days ago. They usually want tune when they ask for Saturday morning TV characters. And then it looks like we have her name. Okay, this director is Chloe Zhao. Hmm, I have not heard of her. I wonder which movies she's directed. I have a feeling I've probably heard of her movies even though I haven't heard of her. All right, let's see if we can get this corner up here. We might run into another theme answer over here also. We gotta be on the lookout for that. Penthouse or attic? Those are both examples of the top floor, right? Of a building. Okay. Can we start building down here? Vitality? Could that be pep maybe? Yeah, if you've got pep in your step, you've got vitality. I think I saw another theme answer when we clicked on this one real quick. Let's see what this one is. Runway model famous for her work as a Victoria's Secret Angel. Hmm. Uh, I don't know models very well. Runway model. Hmm. I wonder if I know this person. Let's get some more crossing help on the downs again. Perplex? Huh. It's not confused. That doesn't fit. It's not confuddle. Hmm. Let's come back to that one. Nimbleness? Could that be agility? Yeah, if you're agile, you're nimble. That's great. Bachelor party attendee. Okay, well, I guess a bunch of your friends would go, but the guest of honor would probably be the groom to be, maybe? Okay, Italian city where Columbus was born. 
Ooh, I don't think I know this one. Ache for? And when you have a word in parentheses at the end of your clue, that means your answer needs to be able to have that word at the end of it and still make sense. So I think here yearn for makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Like oversized clothes, that could be baggy. Match an opinion. Maybe that's agree. Shrek's love is Princess Fiona, right? It's been a while since I've seen Shrek, but I think that's right. And then this could be Baffle. Yeah, there we go. Oh, is this Genwa? Yeah, there was a kind of a punny clue on the Sunday puzzle. The E in Genwa, which was a wordplay clue. And the answer was and, because the letter E in Italian is the word and. Yeah, that was very tricky. And then that means, what is this? Oh my goodness, I have no idea who this is. Uh, I can't even tell where the last name starts. Is it Lyman? Maybe. Let's hope we can get some of these downs here. Place for a goatee. That should be a chin. Split in two. Is it have? Like this? If something's halved, it's split in two, right? Okay, so this gives us... Chanel Iman, maybe? <laughs> I still am not quite sure where to parse this name. Maybe it's Chan Elliman? Ah, I don't know. Hopefully the goose can let us know who this person is and what her actual name is. Agency dealing with workplace accidents. Yeah, that's OSHA. Um, I forget what this abbreviation stands for, but yeah, they deal with workplace safety. And because there's this abbreviated agency in the clue, the answer is also abbreviated. Okay, biology or chemistry, again, with abbreviations. Those are both sciences, right? And that's abbreviated. Elvis's wife? I think his wife's name was Priscilla, right? Priscilla Presley? Okay. I wonder what these names have in common. I'm starting to think about the theme. We probably have a revealer here. Um... They both start with C-H, but I don't know what else they would have in common besides being two people I'm not familiar with. You know what? Let's take a peek at the revealer and maybe that will shed some light on things. Fashionable or where you might find the starts of the answers to the starred clues. Okay. Chloe Chanel. Um... Hmm. Are these all designers? I wonder. Chanel is definitely a designer. And then maybe this answer is in vogue because if something's in vogue, it's fashionable, right? And Vogue is also a fashion magazine and that's where you might find designers, right? Um, Chloe Chanel. Yeah, I think that's probably how the theme is working. I guess we'll maybe be able to confirm that once we get the last two theme answers filled in. All right, let's build down in that direction. Increase unnecessarily as an expense report. I guess that would be pad, right? If you're padding your expense report, you're adding some unnecessary costs, right? Blank versus Wade, that's Roe versus Wade. Yes, the famous Supreme Court decision that might be overturned sometime soon. Um, DC squad member? Uh, I think the squad is the kind of freshman class that came in in 2018, I believe. Yeah, and I think Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is one of them. Yeah, I got to vote for her. That was great. Um, like a basso's voice? A basso is a very deep voice. Can we get this long down? Cold drink with caffeine? That has to be iced coffee, right? more costly is it pricier yeah that fits okay did a sketch hmm did a sketch this has to be in the past tense that's very interesting hmm shouldn't that be drew yeah because that's in the past tense okay maybe it's not iced coffee Hmm, maybe it's iced something. Well, we can put in Drew. Uh, 
Hmm, I'm not sure how this is going to end. Goes in could be enters. Let's see if we can build on these acrosses here. Loosen as laces. Could that just be untie? Bishop's hat is a miter. Yeah. Again, spelled in the American way, not the British way. If it was a British miter, it would be M-I-T-R-E. Budweiser and Bex. Those are both beer brands, right? Beers, yeah. When you get a clue like this that's asking for Budweiser and Bex, two things with the word and in the middle, that always means they're looking for a plural answer. So the answer for this is beers. If this clue had been Budweiser or Bex, they would have been asking for a singular answer, and the answer would have been beer. Yeah, it's good to keep an eye on those little details because those can give you clues as to exactly what the answer should be. Okay, a bit of bread could be a crumb. Start of a playground rhyme, like eeny, meeny, miny, mo, maybe, yeah. Response to a stimulus. I guess that would just be a reaction. This is very general. I guess this is not about a financial stimulus. This is just about a very generic stimulus and you would get a reaction to it, yeah. All right, this is looking like an iced latte, right? Okay. Is this gonna be Celine Dion? Is this gonna be the first person I recognize? Longest resident performer at the Coliseum at Caesar's Palace. Yeah, I guess that has to be Celine Dion. I can't think of anyone else that would be. And then it's looking like she's crossed by somebody else. One of ancient China's three kingdoms. Oh, okay, this is not a person. I guess it's the Wei Kingdom. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of that before. Okay, kennel occupants is dogs. Yes, this is a Monday. Arctic dweller. Um, maybe that's an Inuit, right? Yeah, okay. All right, I think this is our last theme answer. Let's see who this is. Atlanta rapper featured on Lizzo's Grammy-nominated Exactly How I Feel. Hmm, I don't know if I know who this is, but because of the theme... We know it has to start with a designer, right? Um, so I'm going to guess that this starts with Gucci. That's a famous designer, right? Um, I think I have heard of a rapper that starts with Gucci. I can't remember how their name ends. Is it like Gucci Flow or something? I don't know. I'm not going to take a guess because I'm really unsure as to what it's going to be. Some movie effects that could be CGI. And this abbreviated way of writing effects gives us a hint that the answer needs to be abbreviated again. MSNBC competitor? I guess that would be CNN, right? That's another news channel. Stop and yield? Those are examples of signs. Again, we get an and clue and the answer is plural. Altoids containers are tins, yeah. Candy item in foil? Is it a Hershey's Kiss maybe? Yeah. All right, let's finish off this middle section before we get to the bottom. Something to throw on a fire could be a log. Belligerent in London? Is it aggro? Hmm, I always thought of this as more of a gaming term. Like if someone's acting really aggressively in a game, they're aggro. I wonder if this is actually right. Let's take a look at this one. Vegetables in traditional moussaka. Uh... I wonder, that should be eggplants, right? Hmm, maybe it's not groomed to be. Oh, we didn't look at this. Animals around the house are pets, ooh. Oh, maybe this is a groomsman. Okay, yeah. All right, we were close, but we weren't quite there. And then that gives us eggplants, plural. Okay, once blank a time, that's once upon a time. Inventor Whitney? That could be Eli Whitney. He invented the cotton gin, as I'm sure all of us learned in elementary school. Disturb as sediment? That could be royal, yeah. When you kind of stir up water that has dirt in it, it could be said that you're roiling it, yeah. Okay. Collection of songs is an album. All right, let's get this little section here. Jewish Community Center for short. Uh, well, it's not the YMCA. Maybe it's the YMJA? Young Men's Jewish Association? Runaway Success. 
No, that should be a hit, right? So maybe it's like the Young Men's Hebrew Association, maybe? Mornings informally? Yeah, that could be AMs. And then that gives us command between ready and fire. That's aim. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Have blank in one's belfry. I love this phrase. This is have bats in one's belfry. That means your little cuckoo. Yeah, that's a really funny turn of phrase. Okay, once more could be again. All wound up. Hmm. This kind of means you're agitated about something. I'm not sure what they're looking for here. Baked pudding of potatoes or noodles in Jewish cooking. Uh, I think that might be kugo. Yeah. Uh, is this name Gucci Mane? Yeah, because this is looking like it's tense, right? Uh, okay, and then got some shut eye should be slept, right? Okay, so it did end up being Gucci Mane. And then this should be a P, AOL for one. They're an internet service provider, right? Or they were. Are they actually providing internet service to anyone anymore? I don't know. And our final clue is tennis court divider. That should be a net, right? All right, let's see if that does it for us. Nice, all right. A nice kind of taking it easy Monday time of 20 minutes. I think the highlight of the puzzle for me was definitely this bats in one's belfry clue. That is just such a hilarious expression. I absolutely love that. More Halloween season cluing. I just can't get enough of it. All right. Well, I think this was a really good theme. It was completely out of my wheelhouse, so it took us a little bit longer to get going. I think if you're kind of into fashion or following the fashion world at all, you probably knew all of these names. I know Gucci and Chanel. I don't know Chloe or Celine as designers. Um, but yeah, I think these were all really nice kind of pop culture names to have in the grid too. I wasn't aware of a lot of them, but I think for maybe some younger and hipper people, these are probably all very well known. Celine Dion is the only one I definitely knew, but we also had Gucci Mane, which I think I've heard of, but I just couldn't come up with. Um, Chanel Iman, I guess it has to be because the Chanel is the first word. And then Chloe Zhao, yeah, a director. And I'm sure she's probably been working very recently too. But yeah, that was a good Monday theme. I liked that one a lot. We didn't have any wordplay clues on this one. I wish we had gotten at least one or two, but we had some other nice fill. I liked Baffle a lot. Um, Riata is a really good one to learn. Yeah, that one shows up quite a bit. I kind of liked this iced latte mocha kind of mini cafe theme. Yeah, that was fun. And we got some delicious eggplants too. I love it. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that Monday with me. That was kind of a nice relief after the really tricky puzzles we had this weekend. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.